with our number 08038295398. But this aspect today is for mathematics class. And this mathematics class, we are taking the aspect of the mathematics that is more interesting. Uh, we students used to scare, but in fact, uh, if you pay little attention to it, you understand it because it's one of the aspects of mathematics that finds so easy and finds so interesting. Uh, and it's always applicable even in the other level when you get to university systems. So, calculus. Uh, calculus uh, is one of the aspects of mathematics uh, that is applicable in many areas of science, uh, field, engineering, in commercial courses uh, also. And we have calculus. And calculus, calculus is made up of two types. Calculus is divided into two. We have the differential calculus, we have differential calculus, differential calculus, and we have integral calculus. That's why we call it uh, differentiation and integration. Calculus is of differentiation and integration. That is differential calculus and the integral calculus. The differential simply means decrease, while integral simply means increase. Something is already decreased, but you want to get that thing back, you integrate, that is increase. So if you want to decrease something, you differentiate. If you are interested in increase something, you integrate. Uh, I would just uh, like you to hope to try to join us at Lampo Theory Business Service Limited. Lampo Theory Business Service Limited, you can also WhatsApp on 0803829538. Uh, the, the IGMB program, the Jupyter program, and the class is still ongoing. So calculus is made up of two types as earlier it is. Differential and integral. Differentiations and integrations. Differentiation simply means decrease, while integration simply means increase. So before you tackle these two, before we try to what, explain them in details, let's firstly consider this. In fact, if we have a function and we have a variables, suppose I have a particular function, I can say suppose if I have y to be equal to f of x. If y equal to f of x, you observe something here, that y is divine in terms of x. We simply mean that there are two variables here, the x and the y. So this y is divine in terms of x. So which means if you don't know the value of s, you can go the value of y. So y vary with s simply means that y depends on s and s is independent of y. That's why we have two types of variable. When we say variable, know that variable can be dependent variable and it can be independent variable. Dependent and independent variable. If you say dependent variable, this is the variable that take on value. Y independent variable is the variable that assign value to. In the sense that if you have y, equal to s square plus 4. So if you know the value of s, you can easily get the value of y. If you know the value of s here, if s is increasing, y will be increasing. We mean that y defined in terms of s. If I say s is equal to sine y, you observe that if you know the value of y, then you can easily get the value of s. So s is defined in terms of y. If s defines the function of y, so s serves as dependent, y y will become independent. Variable. But mostly in calculus here, y is only serves as dependent, and s is only serves as independent. Variable. As you can see, y is defined in terms of x. And that's what they call dependent and independent variable. So when you have an explicit function, y equal to x squared plus 4 like this, this is an explicit function because it is defined clearly. So y depends on s. So y will be the dependent variable, y s will be independent variable. So we have dependent and independent variable. And as you can see here, if y equal to f of s and f of s, let me say it's equal to s raised to the power of n where n is the members of whole number. So if y equal to s raised to power n, note that dy upon dx, that is derivative of y, decrease in y with respect to s will be equal to, you bring this n down, n, s raised to power then, if you remove one from this, you have n minus what? n minus one. So this is the standard formula for different season. Standard formula for different season. As you can see here, it is decreased because the power of s raised to power, this is n minus one, and the power of s here is what? n. And we know that n is more than what? n minus 1. We simply mean we are, we are decreasing. So when you want to decrease a function, dy over ds will be n s raised to power n minus 1. So this is the standard formula for differentiation. So if you have to differentiate a function, so we have dy ds equal to n s raised to power minus 1. Calculus was invented by Sir Isaac Newton and was later explained by Sir Gabriel William Lesbians. So for more understanding of this, join us at Lanco Theory Educational Service Limited, which is all phone number 082. 3829539. Join us on WhatsApp number there. I can also register your ELF program with us. IGMB, JUPEP, uh, to see any classes still ongoing. So, this is the standard formula for different seasons. So, before we start in, explain this one in details, you should know that the standard formula for division is dy over what? ds, which is d of y over d of s equals n s to power n minus 1. The decrement in y with stress phase where s is n s to power n minus 1. And if it's integration, you have integral of s raised to the power of n 
ds will be equal to s raised to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus constants of integration. So this is the standard formula for integral. So this is the formula for integration. Whenever you see this symbol, this symbol we call it elongated or stretch s. Elongated or stretch s. This is the symbol for integration. Elongated or you call it stretch s. As you already know that when they say something is stretch, something you are you are deforming a material. Suppose this is our s. If we start to stress it, it will expand and it will become something like this. And that's what we call elongated or stretch work. Stretch s. And the formula is s is to the power of n plus one over n plus 1 plus constant of integration. So where C is the constant of integration. So if you are integrating, you must put constants. But if you are diverting, you don't need any constants. I'll break out the reason for you. So by the time we start explaining our integral. But now we have having the two formula, the differential and the integral. We check the power of n here, you have s raised to power n as a function. And if you look at this, you have n plus 1. Which means that the power of n plus 1 is more than n. So we are increasing the power here, but we are doing what here? We are decreasing. That is why I say differential simply means decrease. Y integration simply means what? Increment of the function. But before we can expand it on these two expressions and their details, we have to follow each episode by episode. So if I turn this last to episode 1 on this map, I call this one episode 1. So you follow me on episode 2 by the time we finish this. So on episode 1, we are in introduction to calculus which is made up of differential and integral calculus. So y equals to s raised to power n, the y ds n s raised to power n minus 1. The integral of s raised to power n ds, s raised to power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus constants of integrations. And now we are interested, uh, before you can you need to understand the differential very well and the integral very well, we supposedly learn something we call limits of the functions. Limits of the functions. But before I will try to go that, I will firstly do at least one or two examples on differential and integral. So if we are saying, find the derivatives of the following. Find the derivatives of the following. The derivative simply means the y over the s. That is the derivative of y with respect to s. Suppose y and s are dependent and independent variable respectively. Find the derivatives of the following function. It is mathematical symbol for following. Of the following functions. Derivative of the following function. Suppose you are having y equal to s raised to power 4. Uh, b, I have y equal to s raised to power 5. C, I have y equal to s raised to power 7. Uh, D, I have y equal to s raised to 2x. And E, I have y equal to 5 only. And E, I have y equal to, let's uh, this is 8s. And D, I have y equal to s raised to power minus 1. And H, I have y to be equal to s raised to power 3 plus 4s squared plus 6s minus 1. High question, I can give you a particular function. I have y equal to, let's say, square root of x. I have something like this for you, square root of x. And j, y equal to x raised to power 1 upon 2. Or 1 upon, let me say, minus 2 upon 3 to complicate more. So this is the particular question now. Let's try to find the derivatives of the following functions. So if I to find the derivative of the following function, the derivative simply makes the differentiation. And that is the decrement of the function. So we want to decrease y with respect to x. How do you do this? So let's start from the first one. Solutions. By having the first one, I have y equal to s raised to the power 4. From the general formula, which is the standard formula, if you have s raised to the power n, the y ds is n s raised to the power n minus 1, which means we are bringing the power down, we are subtracting 1 from the power. So you can see the y upon the s will be equal to, if you bring this 4 down, we have 4, s raised to the power 4 minus 1 will give you 3. So this is the y ds for this. Big question. If I have y equal to s raised to the power 5, to find the y upon the s, bring the power down, we have 5. Your protract 1, 5 minus 1 will give us 4. And likewise, c, if you have y equal to s raised to the power 7, our dy upon the s will be equal to this 7 will come down, we have 7. s raised to the power 7 minus 1 will give us 6. And that is how we integrate. So if I have another 1, y equal to 2s. So I can design to, work, to explain that. Let me put it in this side so that it's not be too long in that place. I will have y equal to 2s, which is question D. I have y equal to 2s. 2s simply means 2s raised to power 1. So if you find the y over what here, the s will be equal to 1 times 2s raised to power what? 1 minus 1. 1 times 2s raised to power 1 minus 1 is what? Is 0. So the y over what? The s will be equal to 1 times 2 times s raised to power 0 is what? Is 1. 1 times 2 times 1 will give us what? 2. So we simply means the y upon the s will be equivalent to 2. So we have another one, e. e simply means we're having y equal to 5. 
and 5 simply means 5 x raised to the power 0 because any number raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 and 5 times 1 will give us 5 so which simply means I can introduce the variable I put x raised to the power 0 there so if you want to differentiate this your dy upon the s will be equal to 0 times 5 x raised to the power is 0 minus 1 0 times this will give us what? is 0 so which means that if you have y to be 5 this is a constant derivative of any constant in mathematics is equal to 0 so if you have y equal to 1000 it does not contain the variable, the y ds goes to zero. If y equal to 10,000, the y ds goes to zero. If y equal to 1 million, the y ds goes to zero because they are all constants. Any number you have that doesn't contain the variable, it is a constant, and derivative of any constants as goes to what? Is zero. That is the standard form.